Let's balance the equation for Al plus O2 yields this Al2O3. We have aluminum plus oxygen gas. This is aluminum oxide. We'll also look at the type of reaction and write the states. Let's start out with the type of reaction here. We have these two things coming together to form one thing. That's going to be a combination or a synthesis reaction. Since we have the oxygen here, though, this O2 combining with the aluminum, we could also call this combustion. And the aluminum and oxygen, they change their oxidation states. It's also a redox reaction. Let's balance the equation. We have one aluminum and two oxygen atoms in the reactants. In the products, we have these two aluminums and three oxygen atoms. It's a bit of a challenge when we have this odd number here. Let's put a coefficient of two in front of the aluminum oxide. So the two, it goes to everything here. Three times two, that'll give us six oxygen atoms. And then two times two, that'll give us four aluminum atoms. But this is pretty easy to fix. If we put a coefficient of three in front of the O2, two times three, that'll give us six. We've balanced the oxygens. Aluminum's all by itself. If we put a four here, one times four, that doesn't change anything else. We're done. This equation is balanced. If we're going to write the states, that would look like this. Aluminum's a solid. We combine that with the oxygen gas. We get the aluminum oxide, which is a solid. Typically, if you have aluminum, this reaction will happen, and you'll have this thin layer of aluminum oxide covering the aluminum, the Al, and then the reaction stops. That's why we can use aluminum in cans and airplanes. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al plus O2 yields Al2O3. Aluminum plus oxygen yields aluminum oxide. The type of reaction would be combination, also called synthesis. You could call this a combustion reaction. And finally, it is a redox reaction. Thanks for watching.